James Tony versus Roy Jones Jr. <clears throat> original commentary. If you're not familiar with James Tony, who's looking somewhat pudgy and soft coming into this fight, unlike in some of his previous fights where he looked tremendous. But if you're unfamiliar with James Tony as a fighter, I encourage you to stop this video and go watch some highlights or maybe some fights even from around this time. Maybe if you need a refresher, go do the same thing because you're not going to see the same James Tony in this fight. Why? Because he did not train for Roy Jones Jr. As I talked about on my other channel. And everybody knew this going into this fight. Because those were the rumors and James Tony confirmed them in an interview. As per usual, Roy Jones's telegraph leaping left hooks, they don't hit top level fighters, right? Again, that stuff just doesn't work against guys who don't want to get hit with that type of stuff, right? Tony isn't jabbing, even though he's at range to jab. He is encountering Roy Jones Jr. coming in. It's early, it's okay. James Tony was one of the best counter punches you'll ever see. He still looks okay in the beginning right now. It's weird James Tony started using his jab after Roy was out of range, right? Not there. Right? Not there. Not there. Right? But Roy's got, you know, excellent movement, very fast feet, very fast hands. He's very energetic. And I think he was always going to do this in the early going to, to James Tony, right? James Tony, who was known for very straight or very classy overhand right hand, right? What kind of a fucking right hand was that? And again, right? Why is he curving his right hand so much? <laughs> that counter right hand from James Tony, right? That pullback counter, another one of his classic moves, just isn't getting off there. And credit to Jones because he stepped off the line from that punch, but it just wasn't there, right? That's that's not lights out. If you knew James Tony, that's <laughs> shit. Excuse me. Right, Roy Jones, as per usual, throws the majority of his punches out of range. Right? James Tony had good feet too when he used them. But he liked to plant and just counter you. Tony gets inside and just slaps Roy Jones, right? Tony was a great inside fighter. I mean, the kind of moves he pull off on the inside. If you don't know, go watch some highlights. It's the type of stuff you've never seen before, right? The kind of tricks and moves and how fast he was with his upper body movement and counter punching and bobbing and weaving is just ridiculous, right? When he gets inside here, is on the inside with Roy, he just slaps him to the body and just kind of sits there, right? That's, that's his forte. It was... It was expected that Roy would outbox him from outside, right? But as soon as R Tony got close to Roy, right, especially on the inside, mid-range inside, he was going to dominate because Roy's inside game was very weak. 
and his mid-range game was was okay, right? But not technically, right? And hand speed and, and just short, compact punches, punching power, right? Tony was on another level to, to Roy Jones Jr. on the inside and, and mid-range, right? Roy was probably better on the outside. Tony didn't you always use a great jab or whatever, but you know he did a lot more than here, right? Whenever they get inside, Tony just freezes. All of a sudden, he's not an inside fighter, right? Just doesn't fight on the inside when that was his best chance in this fight, right? See, Tony's fast. He's pretty quick when he wants to be. Blocks all of that from Roy Jones, right? No counter punching, right? From from James Tony. Even though Roy just opens up, his head stays in the middle for the most part. Tony is encountering him, right? Gets inside and just holds, accepts the clinch and pats him like like they're the best of friends or something. Right? Gets inside, gets off some slaps to the body and just stops fighting, right? No, just these big, slow, swinging, easy to see punches, right? Not a jab, straight punch on the way in. Just this crazy, wild stuff, right? Right, when he uses his jab, he's got success. Anyone who was at, at a certain level and used his jab properly against Roy Jones, right, had good success with the jab, right? It was very easy to push Roy back and into the ropes, right? No counter punching from James Tony. There you go. That's better. That's more like James Tony. There he is on the inside, right? Not only is Richard Steele jumping in and not allowing any inside action, James Tony isn't fighting on the inside. Weird. Right? But that's what happens when you don't train for a fight, right? They're saying Tony's in trouble when he's not getting hit by anything. Right? Except that low blow there. How is he in trouble? Look how soft he at how soft he is, right? James Tony, who at that point of his career I will come into the ring wearing a six pack, right? Looking soft and pudgy. Right? None of these punches are landing cleanly. And that one kind of did. Right, James Tony would always come back. In in that whole assault by Roy, he would have come back with one or two counters. He would just pick his counters here and there, right? Just didn't have it in this fight. Can anyone tell me why? Why he, you know, didn't train for Roy Jones Jr. Any ideas, anybody? Just jumps in with these big, wild, swinging punches, right? No straight punches. Starts clowning and gets knocked down.
don't think he was hurt, but the ropes didn't hold him up. Just, right, falls into the clinch, doesn't fight inside. No counter punching. Here and there he's trying to pull the right hand counter, but it's just too slow. Right? There he tried pretty good. Yeah, that pull counter is just the punch that made him famous, right? It just... Or maybe he made that punch famous, right? It's just not coming off, man. Just not coming off. Too slow. Slower than his usual self, right? You're not seeing the usual amount of upper body movement, right? When people attacked James Tony, he would plant his feet, but you couldn't hit him. He would just move move his upper body and his head, right? And and you have to be careful because he would come back with counter punches. Once again, right? Looping punches and then the str one straight straightish punch right to the body. Pulls that right hand for some reason, right? Through through a looping left hand and then pulled the right hand when he had Roy Jones on the rope, standing up straight with his hands down. Tony's breathing heavy. Big looping shots, right? Always putting... Now, Tony liked to throw the overhand right, but it was never this... Not never, but never did he throw it always this this poorly right or there'd be more variety to it and, and he would throw it straight too Uh, actually, it wasn't a knockdown because Roy pushed him, right? Questionable, I guess. Right? Roy just pushed. The punch didn't hurt him. Roy just pushed him. Once again, looping lead punches, right? Where's the jab? Right, no lean hand to speak of. Right, what the hell was that? Right? Close the distance without even throwing anything? Yeah, that's that's more like James Tony, right? He's just walking into the left hook, not throwing any punches. See, when he throws a straight jab, just like anybody, but once again, just stood there and let Roy hit him with a... Just lets Roy step into punching range and doesn't throw anything, right? But he showed you that when he just throws a good jab a straight down the middle, Roy has no answers for it, right? No fighting on the inside, just accepts the clinch. Just stands in front of Roy Jones and lets Roy pound on him. The counter right hand isn't, isn't coming off. Once again, loops the right hand instead of throwing it down the, down the middle, right? Straight. 
jab, keep jabbing. In that instance, the looping right hand made sense because Roy was, he used the right hand to cut him off, right? Just walks into punching range without jabbing, right? And then just stands there and covers up, right? Jab, just keep jabbing. Roy Jones doesn't know how to deal with a good jab because he doesn't have a jab. Roy just unloads once again, a big looping, curvy right hand, slow. Another looping right hand, right? No straight punches from, once again, jumps into the clinch, right? Doesn't fight inside. Just walking into punches without throwing anything. Right? How many times does Jones have to hit him like that for James Stoney to throw the jab, right? Falls into the clinch once again and throws some bullshit, slaps to the body. This this isn't James Stoney, right? That's not how he fights. Here and there you see glimpses of James Stoney, but... Having fun. Just he's just bullshitting around, right? He's not even trying all that hard. Having fun. Jab your way in, says his trainer, right? Just refuses to jab his way in. Cause if you jab at Roy Jones Jr., you knock him out, right? Just go watch all of his knockouts. Maybe not all of them, but Go watch the most famous ones. How do you knock Roy Jones Jr. out, right? You jab on the way in and then you throw the right hand. Or the left hand if you're Tarver, right? Straight punches. Jab, jab, straight punch. Knockout, right? I'm not saying that it would have been that easy against this very, very prime version of Roy Jones Jr., right? But, I mean, the openings are there, right? Test that chin. Lou Deval, that's what he did, right? Jab, left hand, knock down. Straight down the middle. Right, doesn't jab his way in. There he did. No, Roy doesn't counter the jab, right? He doesn't take your jab away from you. He never, I mean, I'm, I won't say never, but it's not, I haven't seen him do it against the top level fighter, right? I just see these guys not throw jabs at him, right? Just, Tony's just walking into Roy's, <laughs> Roy's throwing these short punches, jumping into them, and Tony's just sitting there, right? He's walking into range without throwing anything. He's in range right now, right? Of course he is. Right? Look. Now Roy gets out of there when Tony throws something, but keep throwing. Just accept the cl accepts the clinch and doesn't fight on the inside, right? He's just walking into punches. His trainer just told him, jab your way in, right? Then he just refuses. See, he's just walking in. Just walking into punches. Then he got a little bit ambitious, right? Then he's trying. But he's still just walking into punches, right? Just plodding into these punches. No jab, right? Every time he throws a good jab, just like that, right? Roy has no answer, just like that. Roy has no answer, right? So what do you do? You keep throwing the jab till the right hand opens up, right? Big looping bullshit, man. Right? Throw that shit straight, and then you'll knock him out. Man, that counter is just not coming off. Man. It's just not coming off for him. 
just too slow. And some of that is due to Roy, because Roy's so, so damn fast, right? But, I mean, this isn't... This isn't James Tony, man. Right? See? Anytime he jabs on the way in, Roy has no answers. Which isn't to say that, you know, he necessarily... Maybe he landed that jab to the body. I'm not saying that that's the key to just... Well, it was in some fights, to knocking out, beating Roy Jones, right? But if it works, just go back to it and, and see what Roy Jones Jr., how he adjusts, right? This is just like the Ruiz fight. The guy isn't jabbing on the way in, right? And anytime he actually tries, Roy has no answers for it. Exactly like in the John Ruiz fight, right? See? Tony just... He just... We're going to... Look at this. Just walks in and stands there, right? Just, just, just walks into punches like a dummy. Right? He's just walking into these punches without throwing anything. He's fighting like a bum. But James Tony's not a bum. James Tony is one of the best technical fighters you've ever seen. One of the slickest, most savvy fighters you will ever see in the ring, right? He's just walking into punches. See? Pulls that counter. Right? Jab to the body. No answer, right? You keep jabbing. See? It's just sitting there. Letting Roy hit him. I think the whole weight thing is just an excuse, man. He just didn't train, right? It's like he knew he had to lose this fight or something. Why wouldn't you train? Biggest fight of your career, right? For pound for pound. And the guy doesn't train. More crooked shots. Punching up. Look at these bullshit punches, man. Big, swinging, easy to see, looping slaps, right? And then no fighting on the inside, just pretending, right? This isn't James Tony, he's just pretending, right? Jab, no answer. No jab, just smothers himself and slaps Roy to the body, right? Misses that right hand on purpose. That's what it looks like to me, right? Roy can't hit him. But he's not coming back with any counters. Just walks into that shit without jabbing, right? And then he jabs and Roy can't do anything about it. Where's the jab? Look at these bullshit punches, man. <laughs> He's throwing punches like a bum. Right? Because if you were to... Look at this, right? Got him with the little up jab and then followed up with the bullshit slap to the body. Holding and slapping, right? Because you throw straight punches down the middle. You knock Roy Jones Jr. out, right? Right? One little bullshit jab. Roy doesn't know what to do. Falls into the corner from one little bullshit jab, right? Another jab, right? Almost has him in the corner. Didn't even land it. Another bullshit looping right hand, right? Sweeping right hand. What is he, the fucking janitor? Right? Just, look, just walks into punches. Hits him with the jab and then throws the big looping right hand. Like he's afraid to knock him out or something. Funny. This trainer's telling him to come through the middle, right? Don't 
through the middle, he's telling them, right? Stop with the loop and bullshit, right? This boxing isn't rocket science. It's not that difficult to figure out. Roy's trainer says, every time you flick at him, he's going for it, right? Flick at him. That's a lot of Roy's game is just flicking stuff, right? No jab, right? Stupid, looping, bullshit, falls into the clinch and just repeats the same nonsense, right? Look, look at how he looped that right hand, right? And how lazy that shit looked. His trainer just told him, come through the middle. Right? No real fighting on the inside. Just, oh, this is so pathetic, man. Just let's Roy pound on him. Right? Just, just walks into punches without throwing anything. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right, but then when he throws a half decent jab, Roy can't do anything about it. Now maybe Roy's choosing not to do anything about it, but I mean, so keep doing it. You'll win the fight. Unless Roy starts doing something about it, then, then you adjust to that, right? Shoe shine, nothing there, right? Roy was always going to hit James Tony with this super sudden, you know, rapid stuff straight down the middle. He was always going to have some success with this stuff. So that doesn't surprise me at all, right? But this? Look at this. What? What is that? He's just jumping in and grabbing a hold of him. What is he doing? Look at this. This isn't fighting. Look at these punches. <laughs> it's just the same old tired bullshit, right? Just walking into punches. Slaps to the body. He's not even driving these punches through. He's not throwing anything to the gut. Everything is looping. Right? Everything is slappy. There's no power on it. Tony just forgot how to fight on the inside, I guess. Right? Perfect opportunity for him to fight inside. I mean, by now, you know, if you really struggle to make weight, you could understand this happening. But this is how he started the fight. Do you know what I mean? So I think the weight was just an excuse. And, well, not training, right? Was just going to facilitate... Uh, James Tony being a jobber in this fight. It was his job to lose. Like, look at these punches. Big old loop and bullshit, right? Slaps. He's just throwing lazy slaps. Right, his trainer is telling him we're on our territory right now, especially when the fight is on the inside. Right, we gotta make our move. This is this is your, this is your game. Right, we gotta make our move. He says, like, just do something. Right. Again, these, these, just like in the Ruiz fight. Right, there's no real. Technical. Look at these punches. Look at these punches. There's no technical advice because well, you you can't even get to that point. You just gotta first you gotta get your tactics right, right. First you gotta do the basics, like fight, right. Show me another fight where Tony does the De La Hoya. What De La Hoya did to Mayweather, right? Look at these punches. <laughs> right? He just stands there, takes a beating. Right? 
Roy's not really hitting him with anything clean, right? The counter right hand is so lame. The commentator says, either Tony's tired or he's a good actor. Hint, hint. If he's waiting for Jones to punch himself out, he's taking a beating in the process. That's what the commentator's saying, right? Once again, Tony... There he throw a half-decent punch. It wasn't even very straight, but it sent Roy into the ropes, right? Look what he's doing. Pause the jab, puts him on the ropes, doesn't throw a power punch, right? Smothers himself. Like he's afraid to hit him. Jesus Christ. These bum-ass punches. The guy looks like a bum, man. Go watch any... James Tony fight from this point of his career. Who the hell is this guy? Just when he gets close and he's in range, right? It's just like this bullshit body punching when Roy is open, just like Ruiz, right? There he threw a slappy, bullshit ass left hand. Right? And it was pretty effective. Look, he rocks Roy in the exchange, right? And Richard still once again jumps in and protects Roy, right? Just like he did in one of the earlier rounds, right? Richard, you know, when Tony tried a little bit and he rocked Roy, just like he did in that second round or third round, right? Richard Steele, once again, during the 10-second clap, right, jumps the gun and stops the action. How, how many fights has this guy refereed? Hundreds of fights, right? He can't tell the difference between the clap and the bell? Really? I was supposed to believe that? He makes the same, quote-unquote, mistake twice under the same circumstances where Roy gets hit with a good punch? Look at James Tony, man, fighting like a bow. <sighs> Still no jab, right? James Tony never heard of a jab, I guess, right? Doesn't look all that tired to me. Right? Cutting the ring off, tracking them down. Just not throwing any punches. He's not advancing, right? Some bullshit ass jabs. Look, bullshit ass jab throws Roy off. It's so crazy, man. Like, Roy just can't deal with jabs. Look at him. He got rocked in that last round. So he's running now. He's scared. James Tony landed one little slap that had some effect. And look at how panicky Roy looks right now, right? This is not a great fighter, guys. He just isn't. Look at this. Little bullshit ass jab and Roy is shook. What is like the upper body movement, right? The rolling and countering, the, the stepping around the guy, throwing crazy, unorthodox, weird combinations. It's just like, 
Left, right, left, right, slap, 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 slap. Where did they find this James Tony, right? Roy is his usual self, right? Very low connect percentage, misses most of his punches, right? Bam! Good jab, right? Lazy ass jab right on fucking target because Roy can't deal with jabs. None of these guys that fight like Roy, right? This sort of style, hands down, chin up in the air, bouncing around like a jackrabbit. None of these guys knew how to deal with jabs. Unless they had a good jab themselves, and Roy never did. Right? You, obviously, you have to be a certain level of fighter to, to beat Roy Jones, right? But Tony was plenty good enough to beat Roy Jones Jr., right? John Ruiz was plenty good enough to beat him. Look, once again, right? It's the same thing. Roy doesn't counter jabs. He panics when you throw jabs at him. He gets out of there, right? He eats jabs. They always push him back when they're thrown... Somewhat, here we go, it's just looping bullshit, right? When you throw jabs straight down the middle with good speed, good technique, the guy could never deal with jabs. That's why the B-Hop fight was so boring and Roy looked like trash. That's why Roy looked pedestrian against Mike McCallum, 40-year-old Mike McCallum, right? Michał Czeski would have knocked this guy out, man, I swear. Just coming forward behind a tight guard and throwing a jab from the guard, straight right hand from the guard. He would have torn him to shreds, man. He would have gotten out box early, I think, but... Roy couldn't deal with the jab, and Michał Czeski had the best jab in that division at the time, one of the best jabs in boxing. What the fuck do you think was going to happen? I mean... Same thing that Golovkin did to all these, you know, athletic types that would just bounce around and run around, right? Same thing would happen to Roy. If Roy such an amazing fighter, pound for pound great, one of great, the greatest ever, virtuoso, right? He's got literally a bum in front of him, right? The guy is fighting like a bum. Why doesn't he knock him out? Right? Look at this. What's he so scared of? Tony's not even trying. He just wants a warm, cuddly place to, you know, to take a breather. Right, half as jab, Roy is in the corner. Another half as jab, Roy is on the ropes. Right, bullshit looping punches just over and over and over. Show me another fight where Tony fights like this. Show me another fight where he does some amateurish bullshit like this. Right, couple of jabs, bullshit as slow as jabs. Roy has no answer, right? But Roy's out of ideas. It's just the same bullshit over and over, right? It's the same athletic, looping bullshit punches that are way off the mark, not even extended fully half the time, right? Bullshit has little jab to the gut. He's on the ropes. And Tony's just wrestling instead of ripping him up on the inside like he's done. Um, I ran Barkley, right? I think it was right before few fights before this fight right or maybe right after I, I don't remember exactly but go watch this fight with iran barkley what he does on the inside he's not just looking to hug up on the guy and take a breather right that's right another bullshit jab and a couple of feints gets roy in the corner roy looks done man look at this couple of jabs Tap jabs, and he's got him on the ropes again, right? 
Roy looks done, man. He's in survival mode against the bum. His punches don't have any effect right now. Look at this. It's, it's just the same. <laughs> it's like the same three moves. Any technician will. If he doesn't. Knock, look at this. If he doesn't knock you out early. Doesn't shock you with the speed and punching power. And you're a technician. You're going to learn this guy in three, four rounds. Right? The power is not there. And Tony always had a good chin, right? But these punches of Roy don't have any effect on him anymore. They're hardly landing. Whenever Tony just... Tony could literally win this round with a half-assed jab and some defense, right? Because anytime he throws a bullshit-ass jab... He's able to control Roy because Roy doesn't have a jab. And he, for some reason, he can't counter jabs or refuses to. I don't think he countered one jab in this entire fight, right? So he didn't take it away. And even if he did once or twice or ten times... So what? <laughs> Keep throwing it, right? But that never happened. Anytime James Tony throws even a half-assed fucking jab, especially at this point, right? He has success. Roy's just arm all arm punches now. He looks exhausted. See? He got has him on the ropes. He's playing with his head like a fucking pinball, right? Misses that right hand. Low blow by Roy. Roy's got nothing left, man. All these feints and so what? Nothing off these feints, right? Crowd is booing. Right? Slap, hook. And Tony thinks he could... He, full savvy boxing fans that he's actually trying with that bullshit right look at this look at this jab from tony and what effect it has it's a pathetic little fucking flick jab and it's working right look at this where's the counter punching from right gets he can put him on the ropes get him in the corner anytime he wants to right counter his ass Roy has nothing on his punches. He's just running. Right? Nice jab by Tony. And he just freezes. See? Just jab. Keep jabbing, bro. What are you doing? Look at this. Look at this. These punches by Tony, man. What were they aimed at? Oh my god, this is pathetic. Yeah, walk into some more punches after you got hurt, right? Just, yeah, walk into a couple more, come on. Right? Just look at these counter punches from Tony. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, what... Eric Morales was showing uh, Danny Garcia, right? When he was clowning Danny's punch technique. That's how Tony is throwing his punches. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right? This power is not doing anything to him. He's just exhausted, Tony, right? But Roy's power has no effect. He's just standing there taking these punches. But Roy is super tired. He's slapping now. See? This is bullshit ass jab. If this is the greatest fighter of all time, okay? Why can't he knock out this dead man walking in front of him? This guy that's throwing bullshit ass ridiculous limp dick punches why can't he just knock him the fuck out if he's the greatest fighter of all time clearly i mean tony didn't like this is this should be well known i don't know why the boxing establishment just ignored this 
I don't know why boxing fans just ignore this, right? James Tony didn't train for this fight. So this is the 12th round, right? Tony has arguably lost, what, 10, 11 rounds. So he's going to come out and try to knock him out, right? This is on, it's his only chance, right? If he's not going to do that, then why is he even coming out of his corner? For what reason, right? Oh, here we go. Right? Roy can't even counter a bullshit fucking crooked-ass jab, right? Probing jab, pawing jab. This is such... This is so low level, it, it's ridiculous, man. Yeah, Roy is fast and flashy and shit, but this is... Oh, my God. Garbage. Right, this was supposed to be a great, exciting fight. This is terrible. One guy's not even trying, and the other guy can't do anything about it. And he's supposed to be, you know, the greatest fighter of all time, right? Bullshit-ass jab just puts him on the ropes. You put this dude on the ropes with little bullshit-ass push jabs, right? Once again, right? Little flick jab makes him run, right? What the fuck was that right hand aimed at? Can anyone tell me? <laughs> Tony looked stunned a little bit in a couple of the rounds, right? Early on. He seemed affected by the power. But by now, like, well, looks like he could just well, walk through Roy Jones, but he's not going to get anything done with these wild swinging bullshit pu punches, right? Roy is absolutely done, man. He's running on fumes now. So is James Tony, I guess. But I mean, <laughs> this is your only chance right now. And the guy is a dead man walking. You could puppeteer him with little bullshit punches, right? So do that. Don't smother yourself on the inside. Just reestablish distance. And keep throwing at him once he once he's on the ropes, right? Here we go, more slaps from James Tony, pretending. So, this whole you know, having weight issues. Here we go, just like John Ruiz, right? Raising his hands, acting like he won the fight. Right? Because he gave it a go. He gave it all he had. I mean, look, if you don't train for a fight, then maybe that's that's all you can give. You know what I mean? But, nah, man. James Stone, you could come into the gym fat, right, off a two-year layoff, and you could do better than this. And I'm sure that's actually happened. Maybe not the two-year layoff, because the dude fought a lot and often. But... I know there's plenty of gym stories about James Tony going into fucking crunk gym out of shape and beating up on everybody, right? And going back home and, and eating pizza, drinking beer. Putting in a way better effort than he did here, right? Jones looks embarrassed. The crowd is quiet as fuck. One nineteen one oh eight. 
117, 110, 118, 109. Yeah, about right. So, did Roy Jones Jr. beat a great fighter? I mean, on paper, yeah. But did he beat a great fighter? What do you think, right? Did James Tony come to win? And if so, how come he didn't train for this fight? Hmm? But even as good this, as this win was on paper, right? Roy Jones Jr. did not win lineal the lineal title was held at the time by michael nunn i want to say i think yeah i think nunn had the lineal title at this time so he was the guy to fight right to to become the man in that division 168 so roy jones jr was never champion in any division how can a guy be one of the greatest fighters of all time putting in these types of performances, right? Against guys that aren't, aren't, something's wrong with them, but they're definitely not trying, right? James Tony looked like a bum, absolute bum in this fight, right? How was this a great performance? When, how am I to believe that he was so much better than James Tony and he kept running away from him, right? He kept running away from little push jabs and bullshit slaps. Why didn't he just stomp him? Stomp his dick in the dirt. Knock him out. Hmm? How is how is this guy... How was he a great fighter when he was never champion in any division and his fights fucking sucked? Because it seems like anytime when he got in the ring with a top-level fighter on paper, the guy just fucking sucked. Right? And some... And, and and who is it on this record that's that great, even on paper, right? Who? Who? Bihab wouldn't shit at the time he fought him. Bihab was a nobody at that time. He was just a contender who wasn't good enough to win a title. That's it. Who did he fight? Once, once Roy started fighting row fights against guys who came to win, right? that were good fighters on paper and in their prime, well, we saw what happened to them. Who did Roy beat? That, that was so great. What great fight did he have? He was never champion in any division. Like, what? Yeah, we could sit here and talk about, you know, speed, power, flashiness, and you know, replay some highlights and, and get excited about all that sort of stuff and, and talk about certain moves in there that were spectacular and, and impressive, right? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. But that's not enough to make a great fighter, right? The guy couldn't deal with the jab, right? And the guys that were actually somewhat good, right? And he did slow down a little bit by then, but guys that were actually good and came to win, right? And threw a jab and followed it with a good straight power punch, right? They knocked him out. Anyway. Do you think this was a real fight? Leave me a comment. Do you think this was a real fight? Do you think this was a great win? Oh my God. <laughs>